and uh, now bohr atomic model bohr atomic model of an atom here according to uh, this bohr studied the experiment of the rutherford and uh, in the year 1913 he gave the bohr atomic model here uh, according to this bohr scientist here if the electron is revolving around the nucleus then this electron is accelerated that accelerated electron continuously loses its energy here if the electron loses its energy and that electron spiral into the nucleus spiral and uh, fall into the nucleus here if this is the electron revolving around the nucleus then here continuously it loses its uh, energy then this uh, spiral into the nucleus and falling into the nucleus but it is not happened and uh, this thing is explained by the bohr here according to this bohr atomic model of an atom here he gave uh, three postulates here he gave three postulates in that first one here the electrons revolving around the nucleus here the electrons revolving around the nucleus in the stationary orbits here stationary orbits in this stationary orbits the electrons can have some definite energy here they can have some definite total energy here these are called uh, stationary orbits and uh, when an electron is revolving around the nucleus then the angular momentum the angular momentum of an electron this angular momentum of an electron is a uh, integral multiple of integral multiple of nh by 2 phi here this is angular momentum is equal to nh by 2 pi that is a uh, integral multiple of h by 2 pi and uh, this n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on here uh, this angular momentum is uh, quantized the angular momentum of electron is uh, quantized and uh, when the electron and uh, one more third postulate according to this third postulate when the electron is uh, exciting from higher energy level to lower energy level then it can emit the radio uh, photon of energy here the electron is coming from this uh, higher energy this uh, ef ei minus ef then it can emit the uh, energy that is a uh, photon here ei the energy of the initial level is greater than the energy of the final level then it can emit the photon of energy h nu this is the third postulate here here uh, there are uh, three postulates given by the bohr that is the uh, stationary orbits the electrons revolving around the particular orbits which have a definite total energy and angular momentum of an electron that is a uh, mvr this angular momentum of an electron mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on here ei minus ef is equal to h nu that means if an electron takes the transition from higher energy level to lower energy level then the photon of energy is uh, emitted these are the three postulates given by the bohr now here according to this bohr's second postulate according to this bohr's second postulate now we have the angular momentum of an electron is a integral multiple of nh by 2 pi where this h is called a planck's constant that value is 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second this value this is the planck's constant now according to this uh, we can write uh, uh, the velocity value already uh, when i explained uh, this electron orbits already we have equation for that uh, that is a uh, mv square is mv square by r is equal to 
e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into r square now if we cancel this r r this is a r n okay n the orbit radius r n then we can write the by this we can write r n is equal to this r n is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into m v square now i am substituting this uh, r n value into this equation then m v n into e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into m v square is equal to n h by 2 pi now this uh, uh, one here v and v n gets cancelled then uh, here m m gets cancelled then we'll get e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into v n is equal to n h by 2 pi here e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into v n is equal to n h by 2 pi we got here this v n value if we substitute this v n value into again this equation then we will get a m into this v n value i am substituting here uh, that is a v n is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into uh, we will get a 2 pi by n h this v n value i am substituting into uh, this equation equation 2 then r n is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into m into 1 by v n square we have that means here we'll get a uh, this uh, 4 pi epsilon naught whole square by e power 4 into this uh, n h whole square by 2 pi whole square will get that means here 4 pi epsilon naught 1 4 pi epsilon naught gets cancelled then uh, here we'll get a uh, e square e square and uh, okay here v n is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 pi by n h we have this v n value i am substituting into this equation then we will get a m into this v n value e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 pi by n h is equal into r n is equal to n h by 2 pi now by this r n is equal to r n is equal to n h by 2 pi whole square into 4 pi epsilon naught by